joined by Australian 470 sailors Tessa Parkinson and Belinda Stoll, uh, just back in the boats together, uh, getting ready for their first regatta here in Wey Weymouth. Tessa, this is a uh, new chapter for you in your sailing career. Tell us a little bit about it. It is. Look, I've recently made the transition from crewing to steering, and it is a big change, and I haven't steered for the last two or seven years, but look, it is a new challenge, a fresh opportunity, and it's great to have an opportunity to work with Belinda, and we're just having fun, pushing the boat as hard as we can. We've just been out training with um, Matt and Malcolm, and we're trying to cross in front of them every bit we can, tack, just having fun playing the game and giving this, yeah, giving this team the best go we can in the next in the next six months and see how we go. And you've had a long um, association with Belinda uh, for quite some time now. What's it like to be sailing together? Look, it's great. I think, you know, first of all, when Elise and I were campaigning, when we first got into the 470, Belinda was in the boat with Jenny and they were just a huge inspiration for us and really showed us the pathway to the Olympics. And, you know, we, we watched them compete in Sydney and in Athens and I guess that was our that was our dream, and then we went into into sailing, and then Belinda's mentored me the whole way through sailing, and coached Elise and I, and now to have the opportunity to sail with her is yeah, it's really exciting. So I guess we've got a lot of trust between us and a good relationship already, which is important I think in putting a team together so um, close towards some big events. So hopefully that'll work on our side, and yeah, we know each other really well, and we're finding the communication on the boat yeah really really easy so far. Yeah. And Belinda, how are you enjoying being back in the boat competing? I'm loving it. <laughs> it's really good to be able to come back and I never thought there was going to be an opportunity for me to be able to jump back in to the 470 in the harness and be able to spend all the energy I have and, and uh, be splashed and, and have such a good partner to work with. It's really exciting and to get these opportunities, they really don't come around very often. So it's great that my body was still uh, ship shape ready to jump back in and I haven't had any niggles or pains or anything which is really good too so it's yeah it's just very special working with Tessa she's got a wealth of experience she's such a quick learner and I think we'll be able to gel or we've already gelled as a team so now the test is obviously the regatta so just see how we race. And it's, it's been quite some time since you've raced at this, this level uh, are you looking forward to the challenge that presents? Definitely I know it's going to be tough at times because I haven't raced for about six years at this level so it will be interesting just to see how we go but I have faith in the team and Tess has obviously been racing this year and so she's a lot more fresh in the racing game um, than I am but I've, I've also been watching it for six years so it's not like I've been out of it, it really been, been part of it coaching for six years and really full on and so passionate about the job so it's not like I've been out of the game too much. And you have been very heavily involved from a coaching level. Um, you know, does that, you, do you feel that that's sort of uh, a positive impact on, you, on your sailing as well? Oh, absolutely. I re often wonder how I managed without all this information that I have now. So what I knew then to what I know now is enormous. So I'm really hoping that that will help in being able to race well because of the strategy, the weather knowledge, the tactical game that... I've been watching and developing my own knowledge for to be able to coach so being able to actually put it into practice is great and all my athletes are also here so uh, they're all really watching how I go I guess so I'm under the pump with that but no it's really it's really good and I think the coaching has helped me enormously to see things differently. And Tess we're just over a year away from the games here in Weymouth uh, you guys have, have got a, a challenge on your hands in the next year and a bit. We have got a challenge on our hands, but I think, look, our first big event will be the Perth 2011 World Championships in Frio, and I think it's going to be a special event for both Belinda and I because we've both, you know, grown up there, done so much training out on the waters off Fremantle, and, you know, the hours we've spent out there, and even we did two weeks of training off Fremantle before coming over here, and, yeah, it's a special place for both of us, so hopefully local knowledge will, will help us out a bit, and... Yeah, look, it's not it's not a lot of time, but I think there's enough time. And even though we're coming together as a new team, we have both got a lot of experiences independently. And if we can just bring them together and, and work hard and progress at a 
at a decent level, then I think yeah, we've got every chance to, to give this a good shot. And just you know, looking looking towards Perth in December, obviously Belinda won gold in Sydney in 2000. Are you looking forward to that opportunity to race in a really big event on your home soil? Definitely. Yeah. Look, it'll be. I think the support we have from the community in Perth, from all of the yacht clubs, all of the friends and family, and is just incredible and it's that has a big impact on your sailing I think it's important to have such a strong support group um, that's looking out for you and that's watching you and we definitely have that in Perth so it'll be hopefully we can we can make them proud and yeah do a good job so